Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Some very interesting questions. Let's get right to it. Since raw onions and garlic have high sulfur, can they bind excess hormones and get them out of the body? The main area that I see that sulfur supports is, listen to this, optimal liver function. The liver is the clearing agent for everything. Sulfur is in cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower. MSM is a source of sulfur. Parasites don't like sulfur. Sulfur is important for collagen and tissue healing. Now, here's a question from somebody that asked me in regards to testosterone and calcium deglucurate. Calcium deglucurate supports optimal liver function. Now, when it comes to having excessive testosterone in the body, or if you're doing a patch with testosterone and it's going to get converted to estrogen, aromatase inhibitors stop testosterone from becoming estrogen. To the best of my knowledge, calcium deglucrate does not get rid of testosterone. Calcium deglucrate helps get rid of excessive outside-in estrogens. It's, it's a very interesting. You want to go back and listen to this again. Estrogen will be eliminated with calcium deglucrate because it helps support liver function. What lowers testosterone, I believe, is soy products and stress because you're not making enough of it. Can eating raw onions and garlic, since they're high in sulfur, bind excessive hormones and get them out of the body? Well, I know that someone had just recently asked that, so I wanted to repeat myself with that again. Sulfur helps function of the liver. That's the key to all of it. This is person has a question reference to spearmint in men. There must have been an article somewhere that spearmint can cause hair loss and depletion of male hormones in the body. I've not heard of that before. Um, I, I'm just not aware of it. I don't use spearmint. I actually use peppermint oil for liver gallbladder. So if that is occurring, that's definitely something that's new for me. I told you there's a lot of really interesting questions. Now here's a, a female that asked a question reference to PCOS and listed all of the different tests. Here's my answer to PCOS. This is what we have found in our practice. It's a very good question. PCOS, for those of you who don't know, is polycystic ovarian syndrome, common in low iodine. So you could have tender breasts, you may have low thyroid, white space teeth, thinning hair, all body signals of low iodine. You could also have PCOS. My concern for you is you don't want to take metformin. Metformin is a blood sugar medication that people are taking today coming into our practice because they say it's anti-inflammatory. So for the lady who asked the question about PCOS, you would like to have your urine iodine loading tested because that's going to give us an idea of how much iodine you have in your body. Once again, some tremendous questions. This is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another Ask Dr. Bob.